from Oxford University Stadium, Swayze Field in Oxford. Welcome to the first of three games between the eighth-ranked Ole Miss Rebels and the Princeton Tigers. Not a lot of information on this year's team. Brown ball back to the mound. Casey he gets it to Savidio, and that is the way to end the inning. The 0-1-6-3 to get out of it. Two outs. And there's a base hit the opposite way for Keenan. A try and score for video. Here comes the throw, cut off, and another RBI for the man Tyler Keenan. His one hit was a double through the first four games. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. So video with his second steal of the game and an opposite field knock for Chatagne. So video's going to hold as the throw comes in, and the first two are aboard first. Runner first on the move, and this one's lined out to left on another single, the opposite way for the big lefty. So video holds and then trots home to score the second run of the game. Waits for the pitch, bounces it to the third baseman. He'll get to the back, step there for one, throw it across, and that is a double play. The one and two. Strike three call on the outside corner. The walks got him a little bit. Here's one sent on a laser. Could be trouble. Center fielder going back won't get there. Elko sends one to the wall. He'll go to second base with the stand-up double. Here's the pitch. So video with a high bouncer up the middle, behind and through. The two middle infielders just ran by the ball. Nikhazy is ahead 0 and 2. Strike three call. The outside corner. Five in a row. And a brand new career high for Doug Nikhazy with 11 strikeouts tonight. And that bunt is a nice one. Third baseman will come up in field and gets the job done, moving the runners to second and third. And attacking these Rebel hitters. Ground ball, base hit, left side. One run scores, the second one comes around and Ole Miss will take advantage of guys on base and get the big hit there by Shotman. He's got Sir Video now at second. And runner at first, and this is hit high and deep into left field, going back at the wall, taking a look, forget about it. In the bullpen it goes, and the big fella has dropped a three-run shot here, and all of a sudden, out of the bullpen comes one of the better ERA guys for Princeton and Ole Miss. Has pushed across now five runs here in the bottom of the sixth. Big inning for Ole Miss, though. Leatherwood sends a high fly ball into right center field. Lewis going back, and that one's gone. A little liquid falls out in right field, and a solo shot, the third home run of the season for number nine. Hayden Leatherwood, great swing there as a fastball just. Saw one out of the zone and got a base hit. He sends a high fly ball to center field. Lewis going back. He's getting near the wall, and that one's gone. It's 390 to dead center field. The ball was to the left and near the big batter's eye. It's the third home run of the inning by this Ole Miss team. And the two-run shot for Elko makes this a 11 to nothing game. Turns things over to Greer Holston. See Greer there. He's appearing in his fourth game. He does have a start. In an inning and a third, you see the numbers there. Just one strikeout, four walks, seven hits. You know, Matt, that Greer here is looking for something positive to build on as he gets out here in the seventh inning. Yeah, really as he just settles in and locates. Very effective. Struck him out swinging. Dunhurst likes it. An inning, he's a 500 hitter. And he sends a high fly ball left field. On the way back, and there's no chance to grab this one. It is another home run for Ole Miss. Their fourth of the night as Chatagnier gets in on the mix. Chatagnier hits that ball a ton. Again, another elevated fastball. Just another mistake here from That they can face on Tuesday, Wednesday. Lovely hit. Ground ball base hit. Healy's going to stop at third. They'll hold everyone. And Career base hit number one for the Ole Miss quarterback and Ole Miss base. Anderson delivers. Shank swing in the dirt. And a run will score as Ely steps on the plate. 2-2 from Holston. Got him swinging. Started 
in the outfield so far this season, and he cranks one in the right field that's high. Does it have enough distance? It's at the wall. It's off the top of the wall and into the bullpen for a home run. I thought the right fielder going back, Nolan, had a chance, and I think he did. Missed it, it hit the top of the wall, and then into the bullpen it went for a two-run shot. <laughs> well, the third pitcher to be used tonight for the Rebels, Logan Savelle. It's his fourth appearance. Redshirt freshman out of Madison, Mississippi, and Madison Central. He has tossed an inning and a third of two-run baseball. One hit, one walk, two strikeouts. So they're working quickly, and here's a fly ball center field. Ely goes back and makes the catch. And Ole Miss has now won 12 in a row. Great Army Matt Mossberg, thanks for being with us tonight. Ole Miss wins it 15 to nothing here in Oxford. Thanks for joining us on the SEC Network. So long.